Good evening, Important Nonsense fans. Hello. Welcome to the Important Nonsense Honest Review of... Gayton Farm in Horningsea. So we've been invited to come along and check out their glamping facilities. Now, glamping is much more up our street. So we're going to do an honest review, aren't we? We are. Come on, I'm looking forward to seeing the cows. Because there's... <laughs> What other things are there? <laughs> Don't milk it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> So this is Primrose, and I'll show you our neighbours. Hello, sheep. I'm sure you're all itching to see what it's like inside. Let's go in. <laughs> well, here's our lovely double bed, yeah. which looks very cosy. Bedding is supplied. You don't have to bring your own, which is brilliant. And there's tea and coffee facilities supplied. and. Most importantly for me, biscuits. We've got a little mini fridge, which cool. is brilliant, so we can put our milk and things in there. There's a little wood burner here, so I think we're going to be really cosy tonight if we like the wood burner. The tea and coffee making stuff. We've got a little drawer. Oh, all the cutlery and things. Yeah. Literally, they've thought of everything. Um, bowls and glasses and everything, and washing up facility equipment. So we've got the full crockery set here. Absolutely. Oop. Little tiny wardrobe, look. For such a small space, really, you've just got everything you need. It's brilliant. Underneath here, there's benches, so we can sit and chill out. And there's storage space there for our luggage and chairs for outside. This is lovely. I'm just admiring the view. I've got sheep. There's a there's a horse around there. It's just beautiful. I cannot see a house. It's lovely. <laughs> we have a fire pit down here, a campfire with a grill. We're going to test our... Uh, fire building skills later yeah a little bit nervous about that but you know <laughs> so you've got an outdoor bench here that you can eat your your food on that you cook on the campfire so under here they've provided supplies for building the campfire what they got so the logs and kindling and fire lighters so we've got like barbecue stuff pots and pans a fire poker a grill everything now obviously a sticking point for any campsite is the toilet block <laughs> and shower facilities. Let's go take a look at them, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. This toilet's bigger than the one in my house. So we've got a big toilet and a shower. Wow, look at that. That's what you want to come, that's what you want to see. This is a bit better than most camping facilities, Absolutely. I would say. I think to sum it up, guys, this is not your typical camping experience, is it? We've, we've got real luxury here. Now, one of the things I was worried about coming here was the toilet block and shower facilities. And I'm very pleasantly surprised. And it's only about what? 10, 10 metres from, the, from Primrose? There's a full length mirror in the toilet. Now, Carl's not going to understand the significance of this, but ladies, you know that when you go camping, you do your makeup in the wing mirror of the car. <laughs> it's a full length mirror in the toilet. This is luxury camping. Oh, what? This is more luxurious than my house. We have made fire. <laughs> Me, man, <laughs> make fire. <laughs> Woman helped. <laughs> no. <laughs> Terribly romantic at night, isn't it? It's ever so romantic. Dinner time. Now we've had the proper campsite experience we here. Have. We've lit a fire and we've cooked sausages. The owners of Primrose has been kind enough to give us some marshmallows and some skewers. So we're going to do a bit of marshmallow roasting on the fire. Oh. Morning. Morning. So we stayed in Primrose last night. Lovely night's sleep. Really comfy. It was really warm in there. We had the uh, wood burner going, didn't we? And yeah. it, was, uh, it was lovely. They give you all the bits to do the wood yeah. burner, don't they? No trouble at all. Woken up once or twice by the bar of a sheep. Yes. That was pretty much all. <laughs> Tranquil is the word. So this is like a step up from camping. Oh, it's a giant leap for camping. It is. <laughs> The point of Primrose is if you want a memorable experience, don't go to a hotel, come here instead. Yeah. It's cheaper and it's way more fun. 
And we've got some great memories and some great photos. Yeah. I think that the really handy thing about this campsite is apparently it's only three and a half miles to Cambridge city centre. The lovely owner of Primrose has given us some bicycles. We're going to bike into Cambridge, lock it up, and then we're going to go and have a look around. Tonight we're upgrading. We are. Look at this. Right then, shall I show you around some of the features of the dome? We'll start outside. Outdoor seating area with parasol. Cool. Oh, this could be interesting. I don't, I don't know how to work it. Yeah, let's just leave that. Parasol, tick. Uh, we've got an outdoor kitchen here. Oh, look at that. So we've got a barbecue, gas barbecue, sink, washing up stuff. Cool, all those boxes of bits and bobs. So we've got a full-size wooden double bed. Oh my goodness! Yeah, we've got some mirrors up here, look. Absolutely lovely. We've got a lovely little uh, lounging area. We've got two leather chairs, little table. Oh, look through the window! I know, we've got a lovely view of all the sheep. Oh! Not a bad view. Are you worried about it being cold in here? Worry not, because you've got a wood burner. Oh, look at this. I'm going to show you the ensuite bathroom. A tent that's ensuite? This tent has got ensuite facilities. Oh my goodness. Look at that. You get Whoa. in here, you've got a sink, a toilet, and a shower. Here, there's a fridge. Cool. And they've left us some refreshing drinks, look. I know you. And some little orange juice. Oh, it's the little touches that make the difference, isn't it? It does. You've got a kettle, you've got sugar tea, coffee. They've left us some more marshmallows to roast. And look at this ceiling. Isn't that beautiful? This is amazing. The nice thing about this is this is a real, you know, if you want the camping experience, but still with a bit of luxury, this is, this is it. Hello. Hello. We've had a two night stay at Gayton Farm, haven't we? We have. Our second night was in a glamping dome. Very easy to forget that it's actually a tent because... It's probably more luxurious than a hotel room. Absolutely. Really comfortable night. Oh, wow. It was amazing. Everything was provided for us. Bedding, towels, loads of little touches. It's all the little touches that make the difference. There was little... In the fridge, there was a couple of cans of Diet Coke, there was some milk, there was some orange juice. Porridge for breakfast. Yeah. This morning, we made breakfast on the gas barbecue. We had sausages, bacon and eggs. Oh. Yummy. Now, did you prefer Primrose or the Dome? Well, <laughs> that's quite difficult because both were brilliant. I think I preferred Primrose. Really? And I really enjoyed the campfire and I really enjoyed how romantic Primrose was and mm. how, how um, novel it was to sleep in a gypsy caravan. I thought it was really good value for money as well. The gypsy yes, caravan. the gypsy caravan is, is very, it's, it's much more luxurious than normal camping. Much more. I'm particularly impressed by the bathroom and toilet facilities that are so close. Yeah, uh, I preferred the dome. Okay. But I am a luxury seeker. That's true. <laughs> so I, I can't recommend the dome enough. It's got all the luxuries of it's just proper luxury if you're thinking about coming to cambridge or anywhere around cambridge come here because this is like an experience yeah. this is like something you'll remember forever whereas a hotel is just a hotel exactly this adds to your holiday that's right it's like the same price or cheaper than a hotel yeah absolutely and you get well looked after we should also say that if you fancy bringing your own caravan or your tent, they've also got a sort of a regular camping and caravan yeah. on site. So basically your, your neighbours are um, many sheep and a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful scenery, amazing facilities, can't fault the hospitality. You live next to sheep, it is absolutely brilliant. 10 out of 10, tick. Gayton Farm is amazing for Cambridge. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. We've got lots more honest reviews coming. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. If you like this video, click on subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications.
If you want us to do a review for you, just click on the About section below and contact us.